Chess friends, how are you? Today is a beautiful rainy day, and as you know Ding and Ian playing for the tie breaks, whoever win the tie break, he will be the world champion, and this is your today's puzzle, 90 IQ chess puzzle, solve it and comment me, so let's go, Ding started with d4 we have knight f6 knight f3 d5 and c3, he could play c4 which is the top line, now Ian get a chance to play c5 himself after takes e6 bishop e3 bishop e7 g3 by Ding. We have knight c6 bishop g2, but he could play b4 to stabilize the structure so after castle he played b4, knight g4 foe target the bishop and threatening to double up the e pawns, so bishop and d4 and you may think, take the bishop but if you do, knight takes bishop then after pawn takes knight, this structure will be a very nice structure where white won up a pawn, white's further plan will be to kicking out the knight and play normally, so, back to the position we have queen c7 castle by white e5 the bishop can't retreat because of this and he can't take the pawn on e5 so ding attack on the knight with h3, Ian takes the bishop, pawn takes knight and pawn takes knight takes, knight takes b4, a3 to target the knight so the pawn will be lose guard of the knight and white will take it, Ian says nope, I will pin the knight to the rook so rook c1, bishop takes c3 and you shouldn't take the knight because the bishop will recapture it. So rook takes c3 knight back to c6 queen takes bishop, takes knight g5 threatening to play queen e4 to deliver checkmate, we have h6 to kicking out the knight, knight here and Ian could take the pawn on e2 which was the best move but he played rook e2 instead of taking the pawn, he goes for a rook attack, so we have e3 rook e5 queen back to d2 and here best move for black is to play bishop h3, let me show you the variation, sacrificing the bishop as a tempo, after bishop takes rook takes e4, bishop g2 and rook e5, the game could play like this by reducing white's attacking materials, but Ian played rook e8 to target the queen which is the inaccuracy move, best was to play bishop h3 as I told you, try to stop the bishop from lasering the pieces the black rook can take the knight on e4, now Ding get a chance to play knight d6 rook to h5 rook b1 knight e5, in this position if you play any ordinary move for example a4, then it will be devastated for you. Knight will come to give check to the king and queen, if you take the knight with the bishop, let me show you the variation, after takes there is bishop takes f3, he will seize the diagonal and the rook will come to destroy you, no matter what white will play it will be checkmate on h1 square with the rook, every escaping squares are covered, so in this position, if you think king f1 then you will lose your queen, the game will be terrible for you anyway, so back to the position. Here we have e4 and we have pawn exchanges on b6 square, you may think, wow Ian blundered his queen, let me show you the variation. After rook takes queen there is knight f3 check as I told you, bishop takes knight isn't possible, you know the reason, it will bring checkmate with the rook and bishop for you, so in this position best is to play king f1 then knight takes queen king e1, knight takes rook, rook here and that's it, Black have 1 2 3 4 pieces where you have only 1 2 3 pieces, game will be over for you soon, so back to the position we have knight to b5 to target the queen and protect the rook. Ian takes the rook knight takes queen bishop h3, in this position if you try to save the bishop by playing bishop f1, then he will sacrifice, the rook, if you slide your rook then you will simply lose your knight, so in this position if you takes the rook with your rook then knight f3 check will come, how will you save the king, king can't go there because of this so after king here bishop takes bishop check which will be a checkmate, so in this position, another move is to play rook c1 or rook b3. Let me show you one by one, if it happen then knight f3 check will come, if king here then bishop takes bishop will be mate so rook takes f3, now rook c1, how will you protect the bishop and the king from getting checkmate, you will lose the game so in this position, if you think rook to c1 then after rook takes takes, knight check will come, the same checkmate pattern, killer move bishop takes checkmate, so back to the position. Ding takes the bishop rook takes h3 king here rook h5 rook b1 rook here knight here rook h1, threatening rook h2 checkmate so after knight check king here rook takes e5 by ding, if you take it then king takes rook rook takes, it will be a rook versus rook which will be a draw so ding played rook check here, rook check ups and they agreed with a draw, if you play any other move, for example, king here, then rook check king f3 rook takes rook knight here rook to c5 and that's it, you have to take the rook. 
Pawn takes rook and it will be a knight versus rook where rook will win the game, so back to the position, they agreed with a draw. Let's move on to our next round, Ian Nepo have white pieces against Ding, he started with e4 e5 knight here knight c6 bishop here Rui Lopez and we have some casual lines, castle you shouldn't take the pawn because the file will be open and white will win back his pawn so bishop e7 d3, b5 bishop here the same opening as the game 12 or 13, Ding's further plan is to move the knight and push his queen side, d5 a4 and after some more moves later. We have knight a5 bishop a2 pawn takes and two moves later we have knight c6 knight c3, this targets to the pawn and the rook will add pressure to this pawn, so, here we have rook to b8 to target the pawn, knight takes knight to d4, ding is threatening to the take the knight and the pawn on b2, so we have bishop c4, you may think take the knight then ding will win the pawn on b2, let me show you the variation, if it happen, then after rook takes a4 rook takes b2 is your useless thought. Capture the knight pawn takes, bishop b3 and the rook's escape route will be closed, no matter what you will play you will lose the rook on b2, you have to take it then white will win the game, so here we have c6 knight takes d4 pawn takes bishop here but Ian could take the pawn on a6, anyway bishop e6, he is threatening to take the pawn on e4, you may be surprised how, how black can sacrifice the knight for a pawn. So let me show you how. If you play 209 LO move king h1 then knight takes e4 will come bishop takes bishop, pawn takes takes and rook takes bishop, the f file will be open and black's army will be so aggressive, further plan is to grab more space, so, in this position we have rook e1 to protect it, a5 queen f3, inaccuracy move, best was to play e5 if bishop g3 rook d7, e5 knight d5, another inaccuracy by monkey ding, best was to play bishop here then after bishop takes takes. The knight will be in a good and permanent outpost to create pressure to white, so pawn takes bishop takes d6 bishop takes queen takes queen here to target the d pawn knight here and we have queen exchanges on e5 square, another piece exchanges on c4 square, rook b4 rook c5, d3 takes takes rook takes knight here, and after some more moves later, we have rook takes pawn, and they go into the end game which is of course a dull chess, but Ian sacrificed his knight on f6 to win the black knight. They have another rook exchanges and they make this game draw by threefold repetition moves, human will never understand chess. Game 17 become a draw and I will show you the game 18 in my next video, so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.